click on my drive so I don't create things in a folder. Under the create button, I can create a document, like a Word document, a presentation, like a PowerPoint, a spreadsheet, like Excel, a Google form, or I can create a Google drawing, which is similar to paint, but has collaborative properties. So you might want to check that out. If you already have files, you can click on the button right next to the create button to upload files. But I'm going to go ahead and create a document. And once you've created a document, what you need to do is click where it says untitled document and it'll allow you to rename it. 1.7 assignment Alice Keeler. So you'll go ahead and title it just by clicking on it. You can click on it again if you want to retitle it. And then it's really important that you come over and click on the blue share button in the upper right hand corner. Notice the padlock by default. It is shared privately with only you. So if you make a document and you don't change the share button, the only person that can view it is you. And thus, it cannot be graded. So go ahead and click on the blue share button and you will notice that you are given the link to the document. So you can turn in the document directly or share it by, via email. Under private, you can click on the word change and you can change it from being private to anyone with the link or public on the web. I usually choose public on the web unless I have sensitive information in the document. The other thing that I can do is under access, by default, people have access can view. You can give them only commenting rights or you can give them editing rights. So if you're going to be wanting to allow anyone in the world to edit your document, you can push can edit. This can be helpful in teaching so that your students can get right on the document without having to share, uh, log in, and remember their password. But in general, you leave that as can view. And you go ahead and hit save. The other thing you're going to want to do is add people, Mary Bennett. And then when I do that, I'm able to choose that they can edit the document. So this allows me to share the document so they can not only view it, but also so they can edit it or they can comment or can view. So I can give them view only rights, I can give them commenting rights or editing rights. So I can do that. If I would like to send them an email so they know that it's been shared with them, I'll leave that checked. If they don't need an email notification, I'll uncheck it. If you would like, you can add a message. I am sharing this project with you. Would you mind giving me some feedback? And then I just need to click share and save. And that will allow people that I shared it with to be able to edit and view it or whatever rights that I gave them. And now my document is ready to use.